We hope you enjoy this video from Level 5. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for all the updates. Hi everybody, Alex from Level 5 here again uh, with Clemon from uh, Keolis. We're going to uh, call a cab. We're not going to just call any old cab, we're going to call an autonomous cab. What do I need to press there to bring the oh, cab? Oh, where you want to be dropped. Ah, well I want to be dropped uh, just, just there. Sort of. Okay, what do you want? A private cab? Uh, yes, please. I'll let him drive the app. Probably a bit more competent than me with my big fingers. Basically, from the front end, it looks a little bit like Uber. But uh, what it's actually doing, rather than talking to a vehicle with a driver in it, is talking to an autonomous vehicle. So, here it comes. Now, of course, all of these vehicles do have safety drivers in them. And we're in an enclosed demonstration area. But just to give you some context, this thing's arriving with pretty much no sound. And I have to say, I love the colour. So, what's next on the app? Let's open the door. There we go. Okay, it's time to get in. Here we go, mounting up. So you can see in the app, we're ready to close the door now. So, there we go. And that signal then goes to the vehicle via the mobile data network. The doors were closed. Quite reassuringly thunking shut. We destination in approximately three minutes. Three minutes for a round trip. Free to use your mobile application to play music during the journey. Oh, that's that's kind of you to say so. So a very calm, quiet uh, journey. Let's just quickly talk about some of the tech involved. How many LiDAR units are on the vehicle? It's, uh, seven. Seven LiDAR units. And the top speed of the vehicle? 13. Oh yeah, right. 13 kilometers per hour here, mm -hmm. uh, but it can go up to 50 in the near future. Right, okay. So the idea of this is that it's a shared cab. So not just a, a pod in an urban environment, but a cab that can be just like an Uber, shared with other people who want to travel at normal road speeds in an urban or semi-urban environment. It's an electric vehicle as well, which means that it can run for how many hours before recharging? 10 hours. 10 hours, and it takes what, maybe two hours to recharge or three hours? Or... Three. Okay. Three hours. We've, we've seen the, um, the earlier generation of the Navia pod, but this is the first time it's come out in public in, in a press environment right yes it's a first time from uh, the cab uh, tell me about yourself what, what's your background in the company you work for Keolis presumably Junior is a safety mm. operator okay he's been working for more than two years at the Navia Confluence uh, trial we have in Lyon he used to be a bus driver right so we're cruising around and it's a quiet vehicle fairly comfortable to sit in I've got my seatbelt on because at the end of the day this is a vehicle that is going to be going in a road environment. Yes, we're in an off-road environment, which is completely safe. The whole point of the vehicle like this, which is completely autonomous, is that it's part and parcel of- We are approaching our destination. The transport picture. So you can see looking around you that, well, this just looks like the back of a normal city taxi or a London taxi cab. Looking around, it's just behaving as if there is a driver. Whatever you like in a vehicle, whether you're uh, like a driven vehicle or an autonomous vehicle, which you'll have to get used to at some point in the future, they're all going to be comfortable and you know safe to drive in. You just have to get your head around it. If you enjoyed the video, do uh, like and subscribe and of course uh, click on some of the other features that you can see on screen to watch other videos in the series. See you soon! Thanks for watching this video by Level 5. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Level 5 Jobs and check out our website level5jobs.com.